Hello, my name is Caitlin Pollock and my partner is Wyn Zhao and we decided to call our project Knit Fit. So you can see here some of our lovely inspirational output images. The goals of our project were to create a Maya plugin for users that would allow them to take a small patch of some pattern they wish to create and be able to generate this into a larger patch without using um, sort of bump maps and alpha maps, especially with textures that in, uh, or geometry that includes holes in it. Um, and to be able to then take this geometry and wrap it around any arbitrary object with uh, little to no distortion. So that was our goal in our approach. And we base it off the paper mesh quilting for geometric texture synthesis. So we broke this down into two parts. The first was geometry synthesis. And this started by taking the small patch inputted by the user building up a grid that fills the uh, desired space that the uh, generated geometry will fill at the end of the process. And so the first part was seed finding, finding the point in the grid that had the most processed neighbors. The neighbors are where there was already geometry to start building up the new geometry there. Then there was geometry matching, so taking a duplicate of the input patch and moving it over and finding where it best matches up to the input patch so that when we merge them together it starts building um, a rec the recognizable pattern. Element correspondence was next. That was finding the actual faces that overlapped between the new and the input patch. Element deformation um, deforms the overlapping faces slightly so that they match up even more. And element merging finally brought the new piece, two pieces together to build the uh, merge patch. And this just repeated in the loop until the entire space was filled. The next part was texture synthesis on a surface, and this included taking it from a planar to a curved surface, transformation for each patches, including rotation and translation, and calculating geometry center, modified this part of algorithm for better sample coordination, coordinate adaption, shell mapping, stretch modification, and using Boolean intersection operations from Maya for better implementation. So we struggled with the Maya AAP C++ API from the beginning, um, which was difficult, but I think it was the best decision because that's where we encountered most of our problems in dealing with their mesh classes and how to actually use the algorithms with this given mesh class. Uh, the GUI was done in Mel, and other than that, Mel was only used when necessary, and there was no third-party software used in this example. So you can see in our videos that we've sort of broken it down to the two parts to show how they work. And the first part is showing the geometry synthesis, how it takes the patch. It's showing the grid of seeds that's built. This is all done in the background in the final version. But it shows you it's selecting the um, various seeds that it's recognized as processed, and that's what helps it decide where to continue building. And you can then see that it's um, taken this patch and matched it up where it best fits and generated a new patch in the end. And in the next part, you can see here that we've taken um, a patch and deformed it around an object so that it's um, covering it nicely with the pattern. And that's where our project stands for now. Thank you.